YouTube, YouTube. What's happening? JP Gang out there, man. Future JP Gang, man. What's good? I'm out here finna hit you with another video. I got my family with me today. I got my oldest daughter, Janaya. Say hi to YouTube, baby. Introduce hey. yourself. Um, I'm Janaya Dario. Tell them. <laughs> then my young king, man. My young man. My hi. one and only. Hi, I'm Justin Patterson. That's baby J right there. Yeah, I got him out in the field with me today, man. We finna have a little fun and uh, shoot to this uh, Benz dealership, man, out here in Fort Worth. You know, and uh, I'll let you know what vlog we got. I want to tell you what we finna get ready to review, but I don't want to spoil it off, spoil it for y'all. But y'all see, so y'all stay tuned about the next, y'all just ride with us. Stay tuned for about the next 10, 15 minutes and y'all see what we got in store for you. Channel, we gotta get the channel. YouTube, YouTube, what's happening? Touchdown, touchdown once again. I'm up here at Mercedes Benz Park Place, Fort Worth, off of Brian Irvin Street. I'm about to get ready to get into this couple of car reviews. I got a special little exotic for you and a couple exotic trucks. Let's go take a look and see what I got for you. You see, you see the twins? You see the twins? You see the Crayolas? You see the Crayolas, the G-Wagons, man, the exclusive. Walk around it. It's a Hellkeezy. We'll do that one, too. I like that green. That green is definitely popping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is definitely... Okay, let's look at this interior of this green one. I knew it had it, the diamond stitching. I love that diamond pattern stitching. I want to actually... I'm going to actually put that into... Play on something, man. I really like that diamond stitching. Now, this does not have the brand new digital dash, is what I'm noticing. But it does have green, lime green stitching. It does have the carbon fiber in there. It does have the diamond stitching on the seats, the AMG package. It's a nice package. You got the bumper grill on this one. Walk around in this orange one right quick at this at this old trick-or-treat edition. So now get these side pipes how they come out. I like the way they did that on the G-Wagons, on the AMGs, man. I like the way they did that on the side. But it still won't burn you because it's under the Yes sir. Fifth wheel. How they feel. Got it doubled on the both sides. Caliber, man. Come on, man. AMG. Alright, guys. So tell them how you feel about G Wagons. Um, I like them. Okay, me personally, how I feel about the G Wagon is it's an iconic truck for sure. You know what I mean? I love a G Wagon truck, man. I'm really not a real big foreign truck person, but the Range Rover and the G Wagon, double salute all day so i had to get this on a review especially with the color pattern y'all jump down in the comments below and let me know what y'all think about the color pattern which one do y'all think is better the green one or the orange one y'all drop in the comment below and let me know which y'all think is better the green or the orange and also uh y'all let me know in the comments below how much do you think these two cocks and uh I'll do another video on that or what the price of these vehicles actually are. But y'all jump down in the comments below and let me know what the price of these vehicles do you think they are. And uh, also, I just love these lunch boxes, man. I love the shape of them. I wish Benz would have made them a little bit bigger. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit tight. They're a little small to me. But... I still love this truck, you know what I mean? Do you uh, feel like they look big on the outside and it's smaller on the inside? I feel like they don't look all that big on the outside and they definitely not all that big in the inside, but they still is a nice truck, you know what I'm saying? It's a very uh, collector's item type of truck, like you know one when you see one, you know what I mean? It's a timeless piece, basically, you know what I mean? It's still that look that they had from way back in the day that still kept that same type of look. And, and the just name. advanced it. Yes, so, yes, indeed. And uh, it's one of my favorite foreign trucks on the road, like I said. That and the Range Rover, I double salute. 
would I ever purchase? If I had, if it was my choice to purchase one, which one would it be? It would be the G-Wagon over the range, me personally. My daughter, how do you feel about that? I know how the you The Range Rover. It, I know it, I know it. So me and her, we differ on that one, you dig what I'm saying? But you know, it's all good, it's all love. I love both, both brands of those trucks, except for the maintenance and all types of stuff that comes with that Range Rover, the shocks and different things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's cool. Back at it. I hope y'all like this video, man. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the love. Hit me with some positive vibes, man. I'm doing this to stay motivated. I'm doing this for the car culture. I'm doing this for the love and the passion of my family and the love of cars and vehicles, period. And the just people un unity, you know what I mean? Just humanity and just reaching out to one another and being able to, you know, I just love this whole YouTube you know what I'm saying? Hold everything that, 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 that's with this YouTube, man. you know what I mean? So I just want y'all to share my videos. Give me a like and share a thumbs up, man. These two vehicles right here really, really, really impressed me and I hope they impressed you. Y'all give me some comments down below. Let me think which one you would pick, this one or this one? You really can't go wrong either way. Let me know.